Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. This is one of these products that I talk a lot about on Geekanoids because I've used a dash cam in my vehicle for many years now. It's got a lot of benefits, uh, apart from giving you peace of mind that you've got something recording what's going on either in front of you or in front and behind you if you've got a dual dash cam. But it also can potentially save you money on your insurance. And something I haven't mentioned before, it also encourages you as the driver to drive responsibly and safely as well. Now this is the very latest dash cam from Mio. This is the Mio MyView 792 Wi-Fi Pro. It's got a Starvis CMOS sensor, very, very good quality sensor, full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second recording. It's got integrated Wi-Fi, safety camera warnings, GPS tracking, and also, uh, an optional rear view camera, the my view, I think it's called the A20. Uh, this is the product box. If I just give you a look on the back there, if you want to pause the video, you can. This will give you an idea of some of the features. The main features are listed on the front. The sensor is actually a Sony sensor inside here, so very, very good quality sensor. Also inside the box, we get a mount. This is a little suction cup mount. This goes onto your windscreen, and then this portion here slots onto the dash cam. And then next up, we get a quick start guide. It's very easy to get up and running with these, super easy. Uh, just a matter of plugging them in really, popping a memory card in, and it normally does the rest. You might have to set the date and time on, on some of them, but certainly pretty much plug and play. And then this is the 12 volt vehicle accessory socket adapter. This goes into your 12 volt vehicle accessory socket. This end here is mini USB, not micro USB, but mini USB. And it's sort of right angled like that because it fits very nicely uh, with the suction mount and it means that the cable is rooted out of the side rather than coming down. And then you just tuck this wire around sort of your windscreen, around the headlining for example, tuck it away nice and neat and then plug it into your camera. And then this is the camera itself. Now, if you've got this uh, either hardwired into your car, you could go for optional hardwiring, uh, or if you're using that 12 volt vehicle accessory adapter, then every time you turn on your ignition or your car, then the camera starts up. And once this is set up, when you start this up, every time it will just start recording. And the difference between this and an action camera is you pop your memory card in, uh, certain packages come with memory cards, some of them don't, but you pop your micro SD card into the bottom there and then it will start recording, but it does what's called loop recording. So it record in either one minute or I think you might be able to set it at 30 seconds, but say one minute, two minute and three minute segments. And then when it's recorded that one minute segment, it then start another one minute segment and then another one. And then when it's filled up the memory card, it then goes back to the beginning and starts overwriting the oldest files first. And it overwrite all the video files it's captured apart from if any are protected. So if you've had something that you've either manually protected by pushing the button, or indeed that's been marked as a potential collision or crash, then it won't overwrite those files. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more about some of the other features on this in a short while. But Let's just take a look inside the live chat. This is a live chat, so a big hello to Krishna JM and also Matt Kearns. Uh, Matt Kearns comes in with a question. Hey Dave, have you ever caught anything odd on your dash cam? I've not caught anything odd on my dash cam, uh, but on my uh, current Mio MyView dash cam, because I, I use one of these, but just an older model at the moment, uh, I did have a car that overtook in the country lane, very dangerous place, and almost head-on collision with me, almost. Uh, very very risky move that the driver oncoming towards me made uh, it was like on a blind corner overtaking something in a very very narrow country lane and uh, yeah it was not a nice experience and I did pull that file off of my memory card uh, just to have a look really and just I showed the family and we were just shaking our heads at how ridiculously close it was uh, anyway before I show you the camera up a little bit closer uh, just to remind you 
you can use the live chat if you want to drop me any questions or comments if you're watching this after the live broadcast then the comment section below is where you want to put your comments or questions I answer pretty much all of them so do leave me some comments below and also if you're new to the Geek Noise channel please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and then you get to know when either I've gone live or indeed when I've uploaded a video this particular video is going out live a different time for me nice and early in the UK just wanting to see if anyone else tunes in from other countries let me know where you're watching from in the live chat so anyway so this is the front of the camera as you can see this is the slot that I mentioned that's where that suction mount goes this is the 140 degree wide angle lens so very very nice wide angle lens really good optics on the Mio cameras as well very good indeed uh, GPS which is really accurate on these Round on the side we've got a row of buttons, this is for controlling the menu system and making your selections. Round on the back we've got the screen there, if I just give you a closer look at that you can see my camera in it at the moment, but we've got a nice large touch screen. We've also got a button here which is for interacting with the camera as well. And then round on here we've got the main power button. Across the bottom we've just got the micro SD card slot and across the, what I'm calling the top is a tiny tiny pinhole microphone and then we've also got the uh, mini USB just there so that's pretty much it for the camera now this does require power I will try and power it on because sometimes I have a little bit of battery reserve in them uh, but it requires power so I'm unlikely going to be able to show you the menu system uh, but the uh, actual display on this is very very good indeed extremely good display on these cameras with regards to picture quality at the back and the menu system very very easy to actually uh, navigate your way through you can do things like setting the time date whether you want it to show that on the display whether you want it to show GPS coordinates there's also a parking mode on this as well so if it senses anything motion in front of the uh, lens whilst you're parked a potential impact somebody backing into you then it has got that parking mode on here as well it's also got the GPS coordinates which it records alongside the video footage it's capturing and also you can get the Mio software downloaded to your desktop or laptop and that's available for Mac or PC and then you can watch the video footage along with the coordinates of where you were driving uh, now if something did happen in front of you or if uh, you were involved in a, a road traffic accident then you can of course use the video footage on here as evidence you can also submit it to uh, insurance companies talk very quickly about insurance some insurance companies uh, at least in the UK I'm not sure about other countries do offer a discount if you install a recognized dash cam and I've seen uh, discounts currently in the last month up to 17.5% discount on your premium so very very good uh, discounts available in addition to that obviously you've got peace of mind that you've got a recording of what's going on outside your vehicle uh, it's also deterrent if this is in your front windscreen you do find that cars uh, do drive a bit more responsibly around you uh, you can also get the rear view ones and I found that when I have a rear view dash cam mounted cars don't drive quite so close once they spot the camera I'll talk to you about video quality very quickly. Uh, Matt Kearns, first of all, is watching in the US Central Time, 1 a.m. Wow, Matt, that's dedication. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Let's talk about video quality. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Super smooth, full HD video quality. Really good definition on this one. This is the best dash cam I've tested to date. Don't forget, I'm currently using a Mio dash cam, an older version. I've used dash cams for many years now and this has got really good definition. You can pick out lots of details including of course the all important number plates. That's a very important factor with dash cams. And with regards to night time, sometimes dash cameras do lack when it comes to the quality of night time footage. This has got really good low light capability. Again, one of the best I've seen. Uh, it's also got this Wi-Fi functionality, so you can connect it to your smartphone and access the content from this to your smartphone. It's just packed full of features. Really very, very good indeed. Now, I have left a link to the MyView website uh, in the video description, so please do check that out. 
I do just want to touch a little bit more just on the lens. The lens is an f1.8 lens, so very, very uh, good quality lens on here. Uh, the measurements, it measures 48.8 by 90.2 by 37.05 millimeters, and it weighs 112 grams. Now I, uh, when I was testing this, put this in the normal position on the car windscreen. What I would suggest is tucking this, like the mount, just up behind your rear view mirror if that's possible if you've got room to do that and then mount it in that sort of position it's a little bit more discreet when it's mounted in that sort of position now the other features that i might not have touched on let's just run through the feature list i'm never going to remember all this gps tracking safety camera warning lane departure warning on here as well forward collision warning system running out of fingers cruise control reminder hud display mode headlight reminder uh, so if it, it turns um, uh, sort of darker in the, in the late evening, it will remind you to switch your headlights on. Fatigue alert, eco drive, parking mode, event recording. It's got uh, exposure compensation as well, seven adjustments of that. Also GPS coordinate photos, uh, auto power on, uh, shock sensor as well, motion sensor. Uh, lifetime same, uh, safety camera updates on here as well, so it will warn you when you're going into a safety camera zone. And you've also got the MyView app for the smartphone and MyView manager for the desktop. And that is pretty much it for this particular camera. This is highly recommended. I really do recommend it. The menu system, top notch, controlling it, superb installation, super easy. And then, of course, that all important video footage is very, very clear indeed. This is the Mio MyView 792 Wi Fi Pro. Check out the links down below to where you can pick it up for yourself. Also to the uh, Mio or Mio website, uh, there's also a link down to that in the video description. If you've got any questions or comments at all, please do leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to hit like on this video. Have a fantastic day wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next one. Now, if you're still watching this video, uh, there was a problem at the beginning of the broadcast. Uh, it, it sort of gave a whole minute of probably blank video or me trying to get things working. So if you have seen that, then uh, that was what was going on. And if you're still tuned in now, just thank you again for your dedication to the Geek and Noise channel. I love doing these videos and I really do appreciate your interaction. I also do a lot of business time and business advice videos and I have got a Patreon campaign for that. So if you want some business advice, uh, I've got many, many years. In fact, I've been self-employed for pretty much all of my work in life. Uh, I've got so many great videos with advice on time management, how to keep customers, how to connect with your customers or viewers if you're doing YouTube. So please do check out my Patreon campaign as well. Thanks very much for watching again. I'll see you again soon.